In this video, we're going to talk about instantaneous rate of change and discuss an example in business and economics. Suppose we have a company whose revenue in thousands of dollars is represented by this yellow graph T years since year 2000. And uh, these uh, blue lines here are tangent lines uh, at these uh, three points. So let's answer this problem. How fast is the revenue changing at the given value of t. So if you look at this question, it's asking about the rate at which the revenue is changing. So we're looking for rate of change. But what kind of rate of change are we looking for? Is it average rate of change or instantaneous rate of change? So we're not given an interval here, time interval, but we're given a specific value of t. For example, after two years, after five years, okay, after eight years, and so on. So therefore, in this problem, we're actually looking for just the derivative of the revenue function at a particular value of t. So in A, we're actually looking for the value of the derivative of the revenue function when t is equal to 2. And for B, we're looking for r prime of 5 and so on. And then for f, r prime of 15. Now, what is uh, an interpretation of the derivative at x or at t in this case. So the derivative of the revenue function at t equals 2 is actually the slope of the tangent line at t equals 2. Also, the derivative of the revenue function evaluated at 5 is actually the slope of the tangent line on the graph of the revenue function r of t at t equal to 5. So let's answer now uh, these uh, problems here. So first, let's look at uh, a. So how do we find r prime of 2? So r prime of 2 is the slope of the tangent line at t equals 2. So you have here a t equal to 2. So at this point, what is the tangent line at this point? So the tangent line at this point is actually this line itself. So therefore, the slope of the tangent line is just the slope of this line segment. So we can use here a slope formula or we can use rise over run. So that's the fastest way to find the slope of this line here. So if we're going to use rise over run, so we rise by one unit and we run to the right by two units. So therefore, the slope of that segment, which is the slope of the tangent line, is just equal to rise by one unit and then run to the right by two units. And what is the unit of this uh, derivative. The unit of the derivative is the units of your revenue function over the units of time. So this is just uh, in thousands of dollars, thousands of uh, dollars over year, which is uh, equal to one half times $1,000. So that is equal to $500 per year. So this means at t equal to 2, so that is after two years, the revenue is increasing at a rate of $500 per year. Now let's answer question B. Okay, for problem B, we're looking for R prime of five, rate of change of the revenue when T is equal to five. So how do we find this R prime of five here? So since we're given the graph, so it's enough to find the slope of the tangent line at T equals five. So where is T equals five? Here's uh, T equals five. So the tangent point is this one. Okay, so what is the slope of the tangent line here? So the slope of the tangent line is, of course, uh, this is the tangent line at that point. So its slope is again, you can use rise over run. So rise over run, okay, so that is rise by two units and then run to the right by one unit. So this is equal to two over one. And the unit again of this is what? In thousands of dollars, the numerator is in thousands of dollars and denominator number of years. So the units uh, are, you have here $2,000 over one year. So that is just uh, $2,000 per year. So therefore, when T is equal to five, so that is after five years, the revenue is increasing at a rate of $2,000 per year. Now, let's move to the next problem. 
So we're looking for the value of the derivative when t is equal to 8. So we want to find, again, the slope of the tangent line on the graph of r of t when t is equal to 8. And where is the tangent point? So the tangent point is here. And as you can see, we have here a horizontal line. So the tangent line at that point is just a horizontal line. Okay. So if a point is on a line, then the tangent line is actually the line itself. So therefore, what is the slope of this horizontal line? It's equal to 0. So therefore, our rate of change in this case is just 0. And the units, so we have here $0 per year because this that is zero thousands of dollars which is also zero dollars over the unit of time which is in year which means that the revenue is not changing at this point okay and that is clear from the graph next problem so problem d we're looking for r prime of uh, 11 so r prime of uh, 11 since the blue line is the tangent line at that point so what is the slope of this uh, line here so again, you use rise over run, rise by one unit, run to the right by one unit. So this is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So the unit is what? $1,000 okay, per year. So that is 1 times $1,000 per year. This means that uh, after 11 years, the revenue is increasing at a rate of $1,000 per year. Next problem. So how about uh, after 12 years? Okay. So after 12 years, what is the rate of change? So let's find r prime of 12. So where is uh, the tangent point in this case? So t equals 12. So we have this uh, point here. So that is our tangent point. So note that uh, the graph is not pointed at this point. So we have a tangent line at that point. And if you have a peak point and it is not what it is not a corner point then the tangent line at that point is a horizontal tangent line why is it horizontal tangent line because if we zoom in at this uh, tangent point here you'll see that the graph will look something like this okay again when you uh, move closer and closer to your tangent point your tangent line or your curve looks like a horizontal line so the tangent line here is just a horizontal line so therefore the rate of change at this instant at this value of t is just uh, equal to the slope of the tangent line which is equal to zero so therefore this is zero dollars per year what does this mean it means that there is almost no change in the revenue okay for a very small change in t okay when t is equal to 12 last problem so let's find the rate of change uh, when t is equal to 15 so let's find the r prime of 15 so r prime of 15 is the slope of the tangent line at t equals 15 so at t equals 15 we have this point here and since uh, this uh, blue line is our tangent line, so the rate of change here is the slope of this blue line. So we can use again rise over run, rise by two units, and then run to the left by uh, three units. So you rise by two units, so that is two, over running to the left by three units, so that is minus a three. So if you run to the left, that is negative. If you run to the right, then that is positive. And of course, it is clear from the graph of our tangent line that the slope must be negative. This is a decreasing line. So this one is equal to negative two-thirds times, again, the unit of the numerator is in thousands of dollars. So this is times $1,000 over unit of the denominator number of years. So this is equal to negative $2,000 over uh, three years. And this is equal to negative, this is equal to negative $666.67 per year. So how do we interpret this value here? This means that after 15 years, the revenue is decreasing at a rate of $666.67 per year.
So the negative sign here means that the revenue at that time is decreasing. 